It seemed like I had been sewing for as long as I can remember because my mom sewed and the sewing machine was always sitting out there. I sewed doll clothes. I sewed, we sewed clothes for our stuffed animals. And uh, you know that really gave me an appreciation for creating my own things. And I started sewing clothing. I remember taking home ec in middle school and having to make an apron and then make a jumper from a pattern and it was terrible and I had to put this horrible zipper in and from then on I just kind of liked doing my own thing. So I made a lot of clothing in high school and I was sort of a little hippie so I had some fun with that using old Indian print bedspreads to make dresses and blouses. Um, and I also did a lot of costume design and costuming for little theater productions. I think first of all, I, I think of myself as an artist and I did go to art school and um, studied graphic design and weaving and fabric design. So I would get grumpy if I didn't have my outlet and my outlet is sewing. Well, I can't talk about Bernina without talking about my sister, Sue. And, you know, we grew up together and we're pretty close in age and we're not terribly competitive with each other, but she started taking quilting classes, so I actually had her teach me some things. And then she got this new sewing machine and it was a Bernina 1090. And I looked at that and I looked at what I had said, I think I need one of those too. So I bought my first Bernina. I wanted the needle down position. I wanted the knee lift, the freehand system. Oh my gosh, it was, it's, I mean, I still have it. But then I moved along and now I have a beautiful 830, which is, unfortunately, the poor little 1090 is still tucked away in its cupboard, but I, I can't get, ever get rid of that. Um, something I am sort of an expert at is are making miniature quilts and I truly could not do what I do without the Bernina and the, the features that the Bernina has. Um, I adjust the stitch width and length of the blanket stitch and Bernina has the little tiny increments that make it perfect for me to get exactly the size stitch I want for my little miniature pieces. Um, I also love to embellish the background of my my fabrics um, with decorative stitches. And I love that I can adjust widths and lengths and mirror image and do all these wonderful things with the decorative stitches. And it remembers things and I can just pick up right where I left off if I need to. So I honestly, I, will not, I would not be able to make the quilts that I wanna make without that machine. I, I think that it's, it's the dependability, the, the beautiful craftsmanship of the, those machines, um, knowing that they are so well made, I don't have to worry about the problems arising. Um, I'm able to, if something needs to be changed, I can do that myself. Um, I, and I love that they're constantly coming up with the next thing. It's like, oh my gosh, I was looking at the new features of the 880, and it's like, oh, I think I might need that. Oh, so, you know, they're just, it's, it's a wonderful company, and I'm so happy to have discovered that those machines, and, and I wanna keep, keep buying them and keep using them. Well, I, a long time ago, and I, I, you know, I think about where did this, this, this interest come from, but I love looking at textiles, old textiles, textiles from all around the world, and, and appreciating that women all around the world, all these different cultures and countries are making beautiful textiles. So I have been fortunate enough to be able to travel. I've been to many different exotic places and specifically looking for textiles and different embroideries, colors. Um, I've been to India, I've been to Turkey, I've been to Norway, I've been to New Zealand, I mean, China. And it, I just am amazed at all the, the possibilities there are out there. And then I also want to be able to, to be inspired by these other women's work and then talk about them. Um, I have a, a, 
a big quilt that won a big award that was inspired by a Suzani embroidery. I'd never heard of that. They're from Uzbekistan. So, you know, right there and there, I can share that knowledge and, and other people can be inspired by that too. I, I think it's being able to share what I love about Bernina with, uh, with other people, with the, the students that I meet, my, and I, I share with them that, look, look at what the features of the, this machine, look at the things that it can do that most other machines can't. And then the whole idea of, of they're constantly getting new things and new, new technology and new things to make us be able to make better quilts, garments, whatever we're sewing. <laughs>